Hello everyone, my name is Hunter's Road Gaming here. Now, this will be the premiere before I have to go up north. So, yet again, I'm going up north. The only reason I'm going up there again this month is apparently about I'm going to the funeral. Now, as I was saying, I had prayed to my grandpa that he recently died in 2022. So, I'm giving a really big thanks to Papa for doing everything. He really loved me and my family and we all loved him back. So, thank you to this soldier who actually, well, I'm not going to tell you the rest of it since it's actually in my private life. I'm not going to tell you the rest, but yeah, if you are here in the live chats, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be up north now, so I'll be premiering this tomorrow, So, which basically is today right now on Tuesday. So, we're here to play Creepypasta Museum 3D by Bones to Creepypasta Hunter. Now in 2020, I've done several episodes of this when I recorded that on my iPad. Like I did the Sonic.exe one, Sally.exe, did the Hall of Fame one actually. Now, if you're all in the live chat right now, just please thank God to my grandpa for giving me, my family, all the love he really has brought together. And we all love him back. So thank you so much to my grandpa. You were everything. And I got and I bless you all. Amen. Now guys, let's just get right into it. So everything you see in the game is not finished. This was never supposed to be a demo, but here you go anyway. Uh, this game will contain flashing lights, jump scares. If you can handle either of these things, I suggest you close the game now. Alright, so welcome to Creepy Possum Museum. To play the game, walk into the image. It's just like Super Mario 64. For instructions on how to play the original games made by the developer, please view its description. To quit the game, walk through the exit door onto the left. All right, so what we got here, classic creepypasta games, collection of remakes of old creepypasta games released before 2017, updates included. Wow, this was the, this was the game that came out in 2017 before like three years. I think Bones the Creepy Pasta had to actually update it. What do you know? .exe games. Games that while inspired by Sonic.exe, the game are really their own thing by making other games spooky. These games are separate from Sonic.exe and Sally.exe and are also released before 2017. So it was in 2016, I think it was. So this is the Dave Facts. Enter the room to learn about the developer and the development of the game. What we got here, the development for Suicide Mouse 3D actually started sometime before the first Luigi Kid Creepy Pasta Challenge. However, due to the rage accident from the crappy laptop which some other games mods were made on, the, uh, the project was absent for a while and was not part of the challenge. Creepy Pasta Museum 3D won second place in the season two of the Luigi Kid Creepy Pasta Challenge. While developing Sonic.exe and Sally.exe, I was listening to covers of the Sonic cartoon themes, mostly the Sonic Underground cover by Chris Allen Hess. If you notice any jank with the models, that's because Unity was having trouble with pos posing the models, mainly with Sonic, as a team pose, wasn't it? The static sound in the theater was made by dragging the desktop shortcut into a destiny as Raw did it. This is a similar technique that Mice Man 12 used in Baldi's Basics. So that was actually good. All right, you hold shoot to run. So I'm gonna start off with some games right here. Let's go with Sonic R. Here's what this one is about. Uh, this game plays a bit like Slender. It was developed this way since I don't wanna go through the effort of remaking the eight pages. The goal collects seven emeralds that appear in order throughout the stage without getting caught by the Tails doll. Once you collect one emerald, the next will appear. Keep in mind that this is a work in progress, meaning there are some bugs and glitches that can happen. Tails doll the seven emeralds. I get that. Let's go. All right, guys. Select the stage. Oh my god, there's Baldi Schoolhouse. There's Sword Island. More stages will come in the final release. Warning, this game is pretty buggy. If you die while Tails Doll is not near, then try to move differently. Otherwise, report the errors. Okay, let's go up all these schoolhouse. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Wait a minute, what was that? 
some flashlight spotlight down there. So where is the emerald? Oh, what was that? How? I heard that noise. Okay, so you're in this poly school, schoolhouse. Oh shit! I see the light. I see the red light on Tails though. So we gotta run, guys. We gotta barely run, everyone. Where's the fucking chaos emerald? Where the fuck is that? Oh my fucking god, I'm hearing him right now. It's so creepy! One out of seven. What the fudge? Oh, hi! Oh my god, what's with the music, boy? I thought I got tagged. Oh the cow. I'm getting away from Tails. That song can be a little bit of a copyrighted issue, don't you think? I'm sure it'll be. Oh, he's still following me. Of course. Of course. Okay, would you please shut up, boy? I have one out of seven emeralds. I'm sure we're the... You know what? Let's go this way this time. Says it's really hard for me to track to where I'm going. Yeah, if I do touch tails when he gets me, yeah, I get caught. So be aware of that. Jump scare is alerted. Was that an emerald just then? I didn't think so. So it might be like in one hour of the recording, but I'm not exactly sure. Depends, I have like some storage in my laptop. But if it stops recording, it's nice knowing you all. Or probably I can make some parts of the retakes itself. You know what, let's go this way this time, I think. Yep, there it is. I just found the Chaos Emerald right away. Oh, okay. Oh! Get the fuck out of my way! Oh, god damn you so bad! Holy shit! Got two out of seven emeralds! How am I lucky? God damn it, get out now! I don't want any trouble! Okay, so I think. The spotlights may appear when one Chaos Emerald is there. So once you get one, the other shall appear in one of those spotlights. So I think I'm keeping my eye on it and I don't know what the hell is happening. <sighs> oh, get the hell out of the way! This is copyrighted music. I mean, no harm of the, cl uh, of the claims. Whatsoever. Holy shit. Oh. I think I found another. Oh, God. 33 out of 7. What the fuck? Guys, I'm ruling it right now. Right now. Okay, let me go through you. Let me go through you. Okay. Woo! Okay, another Chaos Emerald in here? No, I, I wouldn't think so. All right. I guess like four more to go? Let me count. Four, three, two. Oh, I mean, like, yeah, I think three more left? Is that what I think it is? All right. Okay, let me go around. I can shoot past him that way. There. Okay, that was a bit easy now. Five out of seven emeralds, I think. Two more to go, I think we're finished.
What's the music, boy? What the hell? Okay, so once you get, like, seven emeralds, I think you're supposed to escape to the main door. Is that what I think? Okay. I don't know if you can actually hold shift to run. Oh. Oh, fuck! Boy! 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 Would you stop? Shut the hell up with the music! God fucking damn it! Okay, let me go this way. He's still on my tail. I don't know if there should be like two more of them left. Oh no, I'm not going there. It's a dead end. No! Why was I just going in circles, Hunter? You idiot, you were going in circles. Like, holy cow! Dude, really? Oh my god, can he be so fucking fast? Telstall, can he be so fucking fast? God damn it, my fucking grammar. Tell me you got Do I hear anything? I'm sure you can hear anything since it's basically that quiet. Yeah, it's really that silent. And I have no idea why. I wanna see if I can go in here. Oh, there he is. I see that. I see fucking tails doll. That's nothing on me, boy. I still have five out of seven emeralds. I'm not going there. I know if I go to my right next time, that'll be a dead end. Dude, it's really that silent right now. I can obviously guarantee you that. But whatsoever now? I'm just really confused. Or probably if it's too bored of finding the rest of the two emeralds, then I had to escape from Bali schoolhouse. I'm sure this will be a premiere, as I was saying at the start of this premiere. Okay, I wanna go. Okay, yeah, he's down there. I'm trying to get away as far from him. Dude, there's no Chaos Emerald. Like, seriously, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. I know, I know what's down there. I know what's down there. I guarantee you, it's a dead end. So I'm gonna go this way this time. Dude, I, I, I can't believe there's like two emeralds missing. Like, holy shit. Like, holy shit. Where am I going? I haven't been to any other rooms. Like, even though I don't see any shining green emeralds anymore. It's just way too bored. That's why this is a premiere. For the last time I'm trying to say. Why, am, what is that noise? I know I'm hearing that right now. Can you hear that? Bruh. I feel like I'm just going into Place is so fucking wrong. This is just bad. I guarantee you it's so bad. You have no idea. Oh, I see a light. Fuck that shit. Oh, no. 
damn, 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 damn. Dude, I haven't yet found any six two Chaos Emeralds. Because for the last time I I know what it is. I'm not going there. I wish you would. Well, I guess not. That's how this game was made originally by my man 12. Seven Chaos Emeralds I'm fucking missing right now. And I'm truly disappointed of being bored. I cannot believe why he tells though. I have no time to react anymore. You son of a bitch, Tails. You, you, you're kind of fucking killing me there. Dude, I don't even understand why this has to be way too bored. If it gets a lot of bored, that's it. I'm, I'm moving on. Wonder if you really go outside. Okay. You know what? Oh! Oh! Oh, thank God, it was right here. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank fucking God, there was like... a six emerald... Mm. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Resort Island? Okay then. Since basically this was actually a really good thing, it was a board start, in my opinion. But whatever, I think I totally got it. Now I just have to go to some rooms that have one prior to the next Chaos Emerald. Because otherwise I might lose it. What's in this balloon right now? Alright. Alright, I wonder where Tails doll went. Okay, let me go up. Up! Oh, okay. I see Tails doll. Alright. What the fuck? Okay, enough of that right now. Let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to go. But really though, I haven't got caught by tails. Oh, there's another one over there waiting for us. Yeah, I'm coming to you right now. What the fuck? Why is this tunnel up there? How am I supposed to get up there? Okay, you know what? Okay, I think I found a way. I'm trying to go up, trying to get the the chaos I'm rolled in. All right. Well, okay, I see you down there. Oh. Is it just coming that way? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I gotta move! I gotta fucking move! Okay, still there's no cricket sounds anymore. I think I'm. Kind of creeped out as I am right now. <laughs> Can it feel the sunshine? Get away! Why are you so fast? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, shut up! Oh! Okay. Okay, enough of that. And I'm just getting out of here right now. Okay. Finally, I made good progress right here. Now, 
trying not to get bored on five out of seven emeralds this time, Hunter. Because the Baldi Schoolhouse actually got, got kind of bored. Because I forgot I really had to go into these first two rooms. Just right before angry, I mean, Baldi got angry. Okay, there's, there's the sixth one down. And we need the last one as well. You know what? I can still continue going this way. I don't mind. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay. Okay. I get it. Would you go away? Oh, for Christ's sake. Satisfying. Okay. Okay, now let's try out the other stuff that I haven't done. Oh my god. If I try the theater, the game is gonna close. You know what? I can go with Suicide Mouse if you don't mind. Let's go in. Alright. Suicide Mouse. Yes, yes. Oh, I can't run anymore. I can't. What the fuck? Man, this really is this is really the scariest thing. What if I try the other doors? Or I don't know if I can try the other doors like Oh! Can I climb this ladder? Oh you can! Okay. I can climb this ladder. When you're climbing the ladder, it means you actually attach yourself on the rope. Like, oh my god. Okay. You're just looking away from me, Mickey. You're kind of... I remember what he done last time. He kind of snapped his neck. Watch this. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. Yep, you did that. He snapped his neck. All right, that that doesn't matter. Well, why am I inside the house? Why am I inside the house? What the fuck? What do you want from me? What do you want from me now? Okay, I went into this house and I remember in the original game by Alex C that he did made the original Suicide Mouse game. I can remember that going into these houses say, "I am dead. You are next." Get out. Leave now. Save yourself, too. So these houses don't mean a damn thing. Let's go inside the hole. Alright. Falling down. Okay. 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 I'm not sure if you can... Yeah, I know dying in the fire is actually another death scene, so... Gonna fall in. Or. <laughs> yep, never mind. I've actually died in the fire. That is no problem. Yeah, there could be another ending. Now, specifically with the portal. The the plasma ball you're supposed to grab. That lets you get another ending. Where you see another Mickey that is impelled by the spice. Alright, so I'm going down there. Okay, now I think I can jump down here. From here. There we go. Alright. Okay, I recognize the heartbeat is from the Luna Games. And probably Ukiki too. It's just looking down. It's like... No! No! Ah! No! Fuck! What the fuck? That is a lot of cream of bosses. Do I recognize the Mr. No Sky or... I think I definitely saw that since Screen Junkie TV actually 
Reveal the name behind it. Okay, so I think there was not another ending where you get the plasma ball in the 3D engine. Anyway, I'm going to return to the museum. And I'm, uh... Yes, there's the Hall of Fame. And I tell you, my bros and dads. Alright, anyway, I guess I'm going to try out the other games that I've never done. How about Yoshi.exe? Alright. I can jump high? That's good. Oh my fucking god, this is cool. I like this engine right now. Pretty awesome, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. Ah! Okay, things already got horror. Things already got horror right now. This music, this ambience is driving me so fucking insane right now. Oh dear. This is terrifying. Oh, okay. Wait, what? There's something else down there. Hi? Oh. Wait. Oh, no, that's a dog. Ah! Okay, I can go back. Fuck that. There's a lot of dogs. Wait. In the 3D remake, I, I am actually surprised that there is no Black Yoshi jump scare. Which is down so Supreme's his favorite color of the Yoshi. But still, there are a lot of dogs everywhere. I don't see their heads. Like, what the fuck? Alright. Okay. Just jumping down here, I guess. Oh, never mind right now. What? All right. Huh? Oh, God, baby Mario. Baby Mario, I'm coming. I'm coming out, baby Mario. I'm coming out, baby Mario. Oh, come on. How is that supposed to be that loud? I'm coming for you now. I know you're that scary. I know you're that scary right now. Oh! I see baby Mario! I see you! Hi! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Fuck! Return to museum, right? <laughs> oh gosh! Oh gosh! Why? Why do you have to do this? Okay, I'll go with Sonic.exe then. That's no problem. All right. Okay, now we're here. Oh god, is that a... That's a... I thought that was a dead Sonic right there. But I only realized that is a blue bird. Oh, okay. When I press space, he uses a Sonic... Uh, Sonic jump. Yeah, by far I can see Sonic all the way down there. Sonic.exe. So I'm just getting up there to say hi to Sonic. Alright, Sonic, hi. Static's getting louder now. Static's getting louder now. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Do you want to play with me? How about no? I don't want to play with you. Uh oh god okay the angel island fires the angel island wildfires 
Oh my god, this is really horrible. I don't know if there is always something else down there. If I don't get tagged by Sonic. Well, yeah, of course you can hold shit to run a little. But I only realized that Sonic can be a little bit faster as I... Why are you always... Wow, he was so fast, he didn't even tag me right now! Before he teleported in front of me! And killed me! He was all the way down there! Alright. Playing as Knuckles. I'm sure it is Knuckles, but... You can't even see yourself because you're in the first person. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, why did he do He did like this! God damn! Welcome to my special hell! Oh my god, there's a lot of Sonics! Oh, what are these Sonic faces on the floor? How many are there? I'm trying to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How about nine? Faces on the ground? Am I supposed to fall on the ground? I mean, I'm supposed to fall. Can I get hugged by you guys? I'm sure I can get hugged by you. Or if I don't have a choice, then fuck that. I'm falling down. Screw that. Yeah, that's the way you can actually die, is to fall down. Because you're being hugged by thousands of Sonic that he sees. So many souls to play with. So little time. Would you agree? Yeah, I get that. I, I totally get that. Okay. Alright. Now I think you're playing as Robotnik, I think, this time in this place. I can't jump with Robotnik! Okay, good. Because Robotic can't actually jump when you're playing. What the fuck? I thought the walls changed. I thought the fires changed as well. Oh no, I think I, I found my way out of here. And I know Sonic's gonna be teleporting in front of me on my way out and I'm gonna die from there. Come on. Oh! I knew it. <laughs> I got a jump scare. And I see you now. I know you're God. I know that. I know that. I know that now. <sighs> yeah, I know. I am God. I know. Totally, I see. I am God everywhere. Okay, what well, sucks for me, you got? Ready for? Yeah, I'm always ready for round two, aren't you guys? Because I know there was Sally Duddy XC and I'm trying and I'm ready for that. Okay, there is Tails, there is Robotnik, and I see Knuckles all the way there. Oh my god, that is totally scary. Alright, a game created by my secrets and let's return to the museum. See how much recording I have. Okay. It's still recording, so thank God for that. Alright, so let me go to Sally Duddy XC. Damn, this is amazing. Oh. Sonic? Just kidding, Sal. Kiss wasn't that great. Oh, really? Really? I suppose you can do better. Is grass green? Is water wet? Siren Head? I recognize the sound of the Siren Head. We interrupt usage of this computer to bring you an emergency broadcast. 
There have been sightings of a killer on the loose. Make sure you lock your doors and windows. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Now what the fuck? Please turn off the game he can see. Oh! He can see me? What the fuck? No! That is creepy. The other one didn't want to play with me. What a shame. Oh dear. But I can play with you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you can play with me. Oh, Sonic! You're all reddish right now! Holy crap! Damn! What is going on with you, Sonic? I know for a fact I hear something else. Okay, the giant silver ring. I'm supposed to go through it. I did it! Alright. Up! Oh! Oh no, the goal! I'm not touching that. What the fuck? There's no other fourth platform or the fifth platform. Alright, whatever. I'm falling down. Some sound effects in these. You just can't stand her? Oh dear. These sound effects and music are always so demonic right now. They're lower demonic right now. All right, I can use this booster. Oh no, the spikes! Ah, fuck you. Damn it. Tails was too slow and Cream was too fast. Yet, they both the dust. Now, who's the last person here? Sally Daddy XC, oh, we are totally This is going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I like the voice acting you did, Bone Secret Fossa Hunter! It's so well done! Up oh, there's everyone here. Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik. Amy, Cream, and of course, Sonic. Oh! Oh, spikes! Okay, okay. I wish there were spikes up in the ceiling. They're moving so fast. Oh, dear! Oh, fucking hell! I am going to be crushed! Oh, I do not like this! I do not like this in first person! Oh god, oh god, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm looking at you. I'm not gonna look at the spikes. I'm just only gonna look at you guys. Okay. Sonic, my love. Jesus. God damn you fucking bitch! scary yeah of course of course of course all right we're turning to the museum I'm sure I have to play Uki keep and I think it's all the way down here but I'm gonna have to check the other other places that I've been I've never been okay there is a jukebox right over there Oh my god, guys. Oh! Choose a game. Back to lobby. Next page. How about I go back to lobby? Okay, the jukebox can also let you choose another game. So I'm gonna check. I have to check something else over there. And Okay. All right, what do we got here, man? What do we got? The giant silver ring, gray ring. This ring is known to be found in the in after completing Sonic Dynasty version seven's hidden levels. 
So, okay. Very good, very good. So, let's go with Uki Keep once again. My damn guy, I get that. So, that's good for me now. Oh, yeah. I like this Pokemon music all the time. Oh, we're playing the Game Boy Color right now. Wow, Machop appeared. Can I press E? Uh, okay. Go, Uki Keep. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, 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 okay. You have your Game Boy Color with you. That is fucking good. I can't jump anymore. All right, up. Oh, oh, there's Uki Keep again. Wild Butterfree appeared. Oh, really? Okay, Uki Keep. Ah! Oh dear! Oh my god, what the fuck was he standing there? When I put my Game Boy Color down, it's just like with Five Nights at Freddy's. They appear in front of you. Like in each horror game or some horror videos. Scary pop-ups. Holy shit. Uki Keep is... Wow, that faded a lot brighter right now. I know this one can be a dead end, so I think I'm actually gonna go all the way down here. The only way is you have to go to the right next time. Okay. We're going all the way down there, everyone. I wish you could jump. But I guess not. There's something else down there. Oh! Fuck you! God! Your pupils are moving right now. Why? Your pupils are moving. All right. I think the only way is to go to the right. So let's go. Okay. That's totally good. All right. Totally good for us. Holy shit. Oh my God. Yep. Okay. There is a line you have to cross. Jump. Ah! Fuck! Oh my god! I thought I thought when you when you play the original Uki Keep Dying see you're supposed to go to the right on the player's view, not to the fucking left. Like what the actual fuck? Damn! What the fuck? God damn! Shit! What the hell? Man! This is filled with jump scares, I already tell ya! Holy crap! Alright. Oh! Okay, okay! Each time I revisit this game, I can remember to go to the left. All right, I still hear the heartbeat. Oh, okay, I don't see who can keep behind me anymore. Okay. I'm just wondering right now. Oh my God, why? All right. The heartbeat from Luna Games, I tell you. This is totally very scary. I guarantee you guys. Sorry, my fucking eyes squint a little and I see Uki Keep. He's just looking for, he's just looking at me. Hi, Uki Keep. Hi. Pikachu. Pikachu. So it, it said to, to be continued. That's why, okay. Because it didn't show to be continued. So I guess that means it's... Oh! oh! I see your eyes. I see your eyes. Why? 
Why? Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, the game closed? Really, the game closed? I. God damn it. Alright, I'll start to reopen the game, everyone. I'll start to reopen the game. I'll minimize it. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Okay. Now back to this part. Alright, alright. Now I think I can go to the, uh, the Hall of Fame. Okay, Gentle Killer, he's one of the few well-known creepypasta characters that are originating with the image, along with Slenderman, the Rake, and others. Gentle Killer was possibly the first introduced in 2008 on the entertainment website Newgrounds by user Killer Jeff. And about the Slendy Bendy Man, created on June 10, 2009 by Something Awful Forums, Eric User Nutsin, also known as Victor Surge, Slenderman was one of the most popular creepypastas to roam the internet. This creepypasta spawned games such as The Ape Ages and The Arrival, and spawned a couple movies such as Always Watching the Marble Hornet Story and the failed movie simply titled Slenderman from 2018 with Joey King. And uh, there's actually Ted the Caver. According to the research so far, Ted the Caver is the first creepypasta ever made originating in 2001 as an angel of fire post, how good is it? We we don't know. So feel free to give it a read. It, it even got a movie adaptation. That's a camera. Wow. Gotta check that one out pretty soon. Van Drown originating as the Elegy of Emptiness from Majora's Mask. Van Drown was created by the internet user Alex Hall, aka Jada Sable. Van Drown tells the story of the college student named Matt who buys a used copy of the video game The Legend of Zelda. Zelda Majora's Mask from the elderly man at, uh, at a yard sale. Matt finds that the cottage is haunted by the ghost of a boy named Ben who drowned. After deleting Ben's sa save file, Matt encounters disturbing glitches and scary messages such as you shouldn't have done that and you met with a terrible fate, haven't you? The creator even made the videos based on the creepypasta at YouTube Judah Judas Judah Shot a sable. Small Dog. A small dog story consists of the classic horse setup. An amateur writer visits the house of a lady who supposedly has a story for which she can borrow from rather than speak. However, the lady has has locked herself up in her room, crying and ranting about nightmares and visions and various other problems. All of these center around the floppy disk she had been given that, that contained the image small.jpg which is small dot dog. Other cases of this have cropped up. And there's no picture along with that, which says Cattle Cove is a creepypasta online horror story written by the web cartoonist and author Chris Straub in 2009. The story centers on the fictional television series titled Candle Cove that could only be viewed by the small group of people, uh, predominantly children who later recalled a disturbing show on the web forum. The story was adapted for the first season of the sci-fi anthology series Channel Zero, which aired in 2016. No images here, as it seems. Channel Zero has the most image search results. And the Laughing Jack here. The story of Laughing Jack was first posted on the popular online social media community for artists, giving art by user Snuffbomb, on March 3rd, 2013. In the post up Bomb told the story of a five-year-old boy named James who shares stories of his encounters with Laughing Jack with his mother who she takes as an imaginary friend. He describes Laughing Jack as a clown with long hair and, and a big swirly cone nose. He's got long arms and a baggy pants with stripy socks and he always smiles. Are created by Spike Kane. So that that is not like the clown from Death Notes, I presume. Tales Doll Curse. The Tales Doll Curse is a fictional care curse that is known to be performed by beating Sonic R uh, 100% or play tag on Resort Island while playing as him. And about Godzilla Red. 
Red is the main antagonist in the next Godzilla Creed Vasa. It is a demonic presence that seems to possess and control the second-hand copy of the 1988 Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge, Godzilla, Monster of Monsters, and seem to have played a direct role in causing a great tragedy in the past of the protagonist named Zack. Eyeless Jack, on June 7, 2010, the photograph of Eyeless Jack was posted by, on 4chan by the username Arnon. The title of the post was Nightmare Fuel, which contained images of disturbed creatures from video games. One of the one of the uh, one of the images featuring the original photo of Jack. Uh, the story itself was written on February 25th, 2012, by the Wikia user as Zell 5000, also known as YouTube, as Papa Pinche. On November 21st, 2014, the story was officially terminated from Creepypasta because the writer requested it to, to be taken down for thinking that that since Jeff the Killer was removed, Eyeless Jack should be removed by him before the Admus decided what happened to it. And Zalgo, Zalgo is an internet legend about the ominous entity believed to, to cause insanity, death, and destruction of the world. Similar to the creature uh, Chidhulu, Hulu, Hulu, ah, uh, god damn it, this fucking word. Created by HP Lovecraft in the 1920s, Zago is often associated with the scramble text on web pages and photos of people whose eyes, uh, whose eyes and mouth have been covered in black. The image shown here isn't the only image seen on the internet. Do a do a simple Google search, and you will not only. And only different versions of what Zago looks like, but also examples of Zago possessed comics are created by Jinbei Zamezama. This gargoyle, holy shit. The Rake. The Rake is a creepypasta story featuring the humanoid creature that stalks and attacks people in a manner similar to the Slender Man since 2006. Pictures, fan art, and video uh, blogs have been made of the monster, including numerous allusions in the in this Slenderverse YouTube series, uh, Every Man Hybrid. The rake originated on 4chan's B-Board in late 2005. You can read more about the, er the origin on knowyourmeme.com. All right, Suicide Mouse, Suicide Mouse and EVI are just Suicide Mouse. It's a lost episode creepypasta and it's widely seen as the forefather of, of the entire Lost episode genre. The story is based off in an old Unseen Mickey Mouse episode. There is also a video that is based off the creepypasta. Sonic.exe and in August 2011, user JC the Hyena submitted the story on the creepypasta wiki about the strange CD-ROM the narrator received from the friend. The CD had Sonic.exe written on it. The .exe is a file extension uh, designating an ex executable, executable file. It, it's centered around the video game franchise and characters Sonic the Hedgehog. And prominent feature of the story was the look of its murderous incarnation of Sonic, who had been di uh, given black, bleeding eyeballs with glowing red pupils. The creator later explained that the creepypasta had been inspired by an edited screen cap of the character. Despite how poorly written it was, Sonic.exe grew popularity and the game based on Sonic.exe was created in August 2012 by Mice and Crimson along with the other tributes and parodies. The theater, there is not enough information to put here about the creepypasta, so go read the creepypasta here and contribute some info to put here. Dead Bart. Dead Bart is a lost episode of Creepypasta based on The Simpsons, written by K.I. Simpson. The episode was said to be about The Simpsons going on the plane trip. Near the end of the first act, the plane was taking off. Bart was fooling around, as you expect. However, the plane was about to uh, was about 50 feet off the ground. Bart broke the window on the plane and was sucked out. The image. On the left is an actual image of Homer from an existing episode, but it is the most common image of Dead Bart. Oh my god. 
And what is this? Nina the Killer. Nina the Killer, Nina Hopkins, is a fan-made character made by DeviantArt user Allegiotic12. Uh, she was infamously known in the fandom for being a whore Mary Sue. According to the Ring Cream Pasta, Nina was considered to be just a killer fangirl. She seems to pretty much be some of the name uh, as Jeff, the creator of the character, wanted nothing to do with Nina anymore, are created by Ev Eiffeltel. Squidward Suicide, Red Mist, mostly referred to as Squidward Suicide as a lost episode. Creepypasta based on the SpongeBob SquarePants written in 2010. On September 11, 2019, the Creepypasta was referenced in an official SpongeBob episode called SpongeBob in Random Land. Alright. So Pikamina here, Pikamina Diane Pie, or commonly known as just Pikamina, is in a psychotic serial killer that kidnaps the unsuspecting ponies in Ponyville by drugging them by dragging them and torturing them within the, her basement. She is known to be uh, one out of the few My Little Pony uh, grim, grim darks to receive the most popularity art by My Hysteria. My Hysteria. Oh, I really like his work right there. Last but not least, SpongeBob Bootleg Episode. SpongeBob Bootleg Episode is about the bootleg tape about the episode dumped. The image shown is claimed to be the exact frame of the bootleg found by the five urban exploring teenagers. If the image was uh, was stared at long enough, SpongeBob will blink, but not here. Let me see how much recording I have. Okay, I might have some time to actually play the theater. So anyway, let's go. Man, this is gonna be my longest run ever. And when I get done with that, I might as well end the, the premiere for you, everyone. It's been one hour on me going through the entire museum. And this was totally awesome as you expected to be. Here we go. All right, we're here once again. I once played the Ticket Taker and it had multiple endings by by Volt's Games. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Thank you, please enjoy the movie. Oh, that voice got a little bit different. Uh oh, okay, I'm right here. Okay. Oh, oh okay. All right. Okay, I see what this is. I thought it just takes you all the way back after touching the black boy. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie, all right. I tell you, my bros super dads. So awesome. Oh, there's a line. Okay, finally. I'll, I'll keep looking for that once I go. All right. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. I tell you. There's a line. All right. It does it for like few of the loops before he, he disappears. Is that what's going on? There's no clock. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. It's just only the posters this time. All right. Only the posters. Okay. Just doing great, doing great. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. I can see the line from the distance. And so close to it as well. And now he's gone. Thank God for giving me you. Just like the Browns, Ken and Caitlin. He's gone. Whoa! Please enjoy the movie. You're not there! You still say that? But you're gone, you jerk! How the fuck are you there? How the fuck aren't you there while saying that? I don't see the red line anymore on the ground. I don't see the red line on the ground. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh hi. Oh! Oh, fuck yo! Oh! God, that jump scare. Oh, that jump scare. Oh, shit. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Fuck you. 
Oh, that fucking got me so bad. My ears. Yeah, my eyes are squinting. I'm sorry about that, guys. Holy shit. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Okay, guys. This is already getting to a close end. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Hi. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. Thank you. Please enjoy the movie. I see the red line. Oh, okay. Okay. The swirly heads everywhere. Look at that everywhere. All the posters of the same guy everywhere. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Your voice sounded so fucking demonic right now. Oh yeah, of course we're getting to the end. Whoa, this is so amazing of you guys, of how you actually enjoyed my farewell. Well, not a farewell, but I'm just leaving to go up north. So I might be able to come back like next week so I can tell you all about what was going on. Or probably it will be a private life, which will get me in trouble if I do. So anyway, I really want to say that was the retake of the Creepypasta Museum, the full game of it with all of these games the pictures you can actually go through and it was so amazing to how I made these parts in 2020 so I made this as a premiere a full game of it so thank you all for watching that was Creepypasta Museum 3D by Bones the Creepypasta Hunter all of the games in one specific movie or episode oh my god this is a premiere anyway guys I'll be going up north so thank you all, hope you all enjoyed this video. Watch my latest uploads that you have not yet seen while I'm up, up, up north. Stay safe, don't let the trolls get to you. I may have like millions of notifications when I get back to my hometown. That'll be a lot for me to actually like and heart every comment of yours that you really give us the support. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching. If you all enjoyed this premiere, Give us your thumbs up, stay 100% cooler, be ready for the real action, guys. And then, as always, guys, I have to pay respect for my grandpa that recently passed away on the holidays of 2022. And I'm going up there for, for the funeral in the cemetery. So wish me luck, everyone. Anyway, guys, we'll see you then very, very, very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.